Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing the circle. Your pre-calculus. First lesson or the in your module one, the circle. So first let us define what is a circle. A circle is the set of all points in a plane that are at a constant distance the radius from the fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of the circle. So let us illustrate to better understand. So we have a circle and we have a fixed point. That is the center. So from the center, we have a set of points. Okay, This is infinite many points and these points are equidistant from our center that means if we're going to connect one point on the circle to our center that is our radius again all the points around the circle is equidistant from the center and if we're going to connect a point to another point that passes through the center, that is what we call the diameter. And our measurement, a radius, is half of a diameter. A diameter is twice the radius. So that is the circle. In our circle, we have the standard form. This is the standard form. Quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Wherein r is our radius. And if we're going to get the value of x or y, we will find the center. The center is the h k. Let's say you have x minus 3 squared plus x minus 4 squared is equal to 3 squared. Equate x minus 3 to 0, so your h will be positive 3. And your k, x minus 4 equals 0, k will be positive 4. So let us discuss one by one later to better understand. Next, we have the general form. x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. And in our general form, we have a shortcut formula for the center. Negative d over 2 and negative e over 2. That is the shortcut formula for the center. Okay, to better understand the center, let us first discuss transforming general form into standard form. Let's have the following examples. And now let's have this example. Transform the general form x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 4y minus 7 is equal to 0 of a circle into standard form. Find the center and radius. So from general form, we're going to transform into standard form. So in our introduction, we have this general form going to our standard form. Then after getting the standard form, we need to find the radius and the center. We can transform by using the completing the square, your lesson when you were in grade 9. So, let's try to solve this problem. So, first step, rearrange our given. Okay, the given is x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 4y minus 7 is equal to 0. This is our given. Rearrange. So we have x squared 
minus 10x. So x and x must be written beside each other. Then plus y squared plus 4y is equal to addition property. So in short, we're going to transpose. That will become positive 7. Now, regroup. Make the expression a perfect square trinomial. So we have x squared minus 10x plus blank. We're going to add the number to make it a perfect square trinomial. Plus y squared plus 4y plus blank plus blank is equal to positive 7. Okay. We will add a blank on the left side of the equation. So we need to add blank here and another blank to make the equation balance. Now, make our expression inside the parentheses a perfect square trinomial. Get the middle term. The middle term is negative 10. Divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So negative 5. Then 5 squared. 5 squared, 25. So we need to add 25 here. Also add 25 on the right side of the equation. Next, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 2 squared, that is 2 times 2, which is 4. So we added 4 on the left side, add 4 on the right side of the equation. Okay, now a perfect square trinomial and a perfect square trinomial. We're going to write it into a square of a binomial. So, a square of a binomial, so that is x, copy the sign of the middle term, minus, a square root of 25, so that is 5. Then write square. Plus, y, sign of the middle term, plus, a square root of 4, positive 2, square. Is equal to, so we need to add 7 plus 2. 25, that is 32, plus 4, we have 36. So this is now our standard form. This is now our standard form. If you want to master a perfect square trinomial, go to our grade 9 playlist to recall your Completing this square. Now, find the center and radius. So the center, we have the hk. So, let's get x minus 5 equated to 0. So our x is equal to positive 5. And y plus 2. Equated to 0, so y is equal to negative 2. Now, the center is, so our center is equal to our x or h is positive 5 and our k negative 2. That is now the center. And the radius, just get the square root of our constant term. Square root of 36, square root of 36, that is positive 6. So maybe you will say, sir, positive negative 6 because that is, because 36 is a perfect square number. So since we are dealing with a distance or a measurement, we're just going to get the positive volume. So the radius is positive 6. 
So that's on how to transform general form into standard form. Now your turn. I want you to answer this problem. The problem is transform the general form x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y minus 15 equals 0 of a circle into standard form. Find the center and the radius. Pause the video and answer this problem. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Okay, here's the solution. Copy the given general form x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y minus 15 is equal to 0. Now, rearrange our given. So, x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 6y is equal to, after rearranging, move the constant on the right side. Or add positive 15 to cancel negative 15. Let's see 15. Next, make our, or regroup, and make it a perfect square trinomial. So regroup, x squared plus 2x plus blank plus blank plus y squared minus 6y plus blank is equal to 15. We added two blanks, blank and blank, to make the equation balance. And now, make the expression a perfect square trinomial. Middle term, in this case we have 2. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 1 square, 1 times 1, positive 1. Get the middle term, that is negative 6. So negative 6 divided by 2, that is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. We added 1 and we added 9. Now, make our perfect square trinomial a square of a binomial x sine of the middle term plus square root of 1 positive 1. Then don't forget to write square. <coughs> square of a binomial plus y sine of the middle term minus square root of 9 3 square. This is equal to 15 plus 1 plus 9 that is 25. This is now our standard form. We are now ready to find the center and the radius. So the center x plus 1 equal to 0 and y minus 3 equate to 0. So x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to positive 3. So the center now is negative 1, positive 3. And the radius, that is the square root of our constant is 25. Is 25 a perfect square number? Yes. So, square root of 25 is positive 5. So, the radius is positive 5. So, that's on how to transform general form into standard form. For our next video, we're going to discuss transforming standard form 
into general form. Stay tuned for our next video. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please share this video to your classmates. Inform them to visit our channel in order for them to answer their modules, especially those in modulum approach.